Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I am. Um, just hanging out here. Uh, just got off work. Margo's back there running around. The roosters are over there doing what they do best. Uh, interrupting me pretty much every time I try to say something. Um, it's about the... I swear, those guys know what I'm talking and they just like interrupting. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, like I said. And uh, today, I got some big news for you guys. Uh, I'm going to be a father. Um, and I'll get into that here in a bit. But first, there's some things we need to do around the farm. But I got a old pen over here that I'd like to mess with. We're going to take that out today. And uh, we're going to see if we can't uh, clean it up. We're going to see if we can't clean up that pen and um, make sure there's nothing that needs to be uh, fixed on it and uh, just see uh, what kind of shape it's in and uh, let's go check that out. Margo! What's up, Salem? Hey, what's up, buddy? What do you know? Margo? Gotta get some more fresh water in here for the pigs. Looks like uh, we had a pretty warm day out today and looks like they got dried out a bit. Oh, wow. A little update on Charlotte for you. It looks like Charlotte uh, has two eggs deals now so that's creepy i don't like that at all but uh okay whatever um but yeah she looks charlotte looks like she's doing pretty good or he or i don't know okay so this is a this is like a a, a hoop coop i guess if you will uh, i got this from my brother um he had this i think he raised meat chickens in it if i'm not mistaken and this thing's pretty cool it's set up uh for a big automatic waterer down there which we need to check that out and maybe replace some of those things in there um but it's a pretty good size there's a door on the outside here i think if i remember correctly when we moved it out here um we decided that maybe that needed a little work closing that back up um, but i definitely need a weed eater out here get this uh get this into shape and i'll tell you why Okay, yeah, this looks a lot better already in here. Now we can kind of get a good look at it. See the door back here. Got a nice little door here and here. Two doors here. This one would be nice because I can hang up food and stuff. I think that's what we did. He hung up probably a light and some food right here. And then they got their water here. You feed them and water them right here. And then if they were bigger enough and you had another pe uh, place for a, a run, you could actually let them out into a run down there. Um, but I can tell already that the door, this part's going to need some work. 
Uh, not a lot though. I mean, we could probably just replace that whole thing or just fix this one. Yeah, as you can see, that door is just a little messed up here and uh, we'll take care of that. We'll fix that up. Uh, we'll either reuse it or we'll get something else, another piece of board or something. Uh, but I can't wait. I think this right here is gonna do great for what we need it for. So this is why we're gonna be working on the coop, getting it ready. Check this out, guys. Uh, I bought a incubator. Hopefully, um, these eggs hatch. Check this out. This thing, push of a button. That is the uh, automatic uh, rotator um, test button. And uh, it's scheduled to do that, I think once a, I don't know how often it does it in the deal. Um, these temperatures are good. That's good, 99.5. Uh, that that humidity needs to go down somewhere between like I think it was 45 and 55 degrees And it's got this awesome air vent here in the back that you can adjust the air which will help with the humidity And my favorite part one of my favorite parts is this outside uh, Water filler. That's where you add the water at um, I bought this on Amazon for a hundred bucks and uh, <clears throat> I set it up. It was super easy um, Here's one more thing. I'll show you. Uh, it's got an automatic egg candler okay this is just a regular egg from the fridge but uh if it was a lot darker in here oh wow no that works great check that out that is an egg from the fridge uh look at that egg candler isn't that cool um yeah just uh, all you gotta do is push this minus button one time and it turns on that light i think that light will stay on for up to like four minutes at a time um but wow that's that works really good it's not even dark in here Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, much better. That's cool. So I can't wait to bring you guys along this journey with these eggs. Um, hopefully in a week or two, uh, we'll check them. We'll candle them just like this. And uh, we'll be able to hopefully see some progress in these eggs. Uh, the incubator I got here, uh, it holds 12. Um, like I said, this is about I think it was about $96 after tax on Amazon Prime. Uh, I just looked up uh, egg incubators and I found this one. And like I said, the things I loved about it was the clear dome round, um, the easy out, outside filler, the automatic uh, egg candler, and the uh, automatic rotator. I know some of them you can buy, you have to rotate them manually. And uh, this thing is just great. It's got everything's display option. You can change it all up. Um, so far so good. Hopefully it hatches eggs. That's what matters. So we'll find out soon if this thing is worth the 95 bucks and, uh, hopefully we can hatch a lot of eggs to come. Well, there you have it folks. That's the chicken coop. We got to fix. You saw the incubator. You saw my eggs in there incubating. Uh, and that's what I was talking about when I said I was going to be a, uh, I said I'm going to be a dad or a father or something. I don't know. I'm about to have a bunch of babies running around. I'm going to be taken care of. So Call me Father Goose, I guess. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited uh, by my very first incubator, and uh, hopefully it'll work. I've, I've tried an incubator two times before, and I didn't have any luck. Maybe it was the incubator, maybe it was me, I don't know. But uh, I'm excited about this one. I think it's going to turn out good, so I'm excited about that. I can't wait to get a bunch more laying hens around here. And uh, the reason why we're cleaning that one out is because I can't. you can't put baby, baby chicks in with full-grown chicks, chickens. And roosters uh, I guess they'll peck their eyes out and stuff so that's why we're gonna have to separate the the babies when they get here I'm gonna have to set up a whole little uh, deal I got this uh, it was a turtle pond I got a turtle pond thing that I'll, I'll turn into where they go at first after they're born and then after they get big enough I'll put them in that and when they get bigger about six months old or so I think someone said that's when they can be introduced to everybody else um, so about six months from now is uh, when we'll hopefully be introducing new chicks to that chicken coop. And uh, I believe it only takes 21 days for the eggs to hatch and we'll have baby chicks. I'm excited about that. And I'll be collecting eggs for the next 21 days or whatever uh, until those baby gets here. I'll be collecting eggs and so we can redo the whole process again. And hopefully, hopefully we end up with a bunch of uh, babies. Hope up a bunch of laying hens. That'd be awesome. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. Um, I'm about to get off here and go to the lake. Margo. Take Margo to the lake. Go fishing, go swimming. I don't know. Just go out there and hang out. Um, get out of this sun. I know that. <laughs> so, guys, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll catch you on the next video.